everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Auntie. Hey, Emma. Emma, your mom told me you went to the dentist this week. How did it go? Well, not so great, Auntie. I found out I have a cavity. Oh no, Emma, a cavity. Have you been brushing your teeth? Um, of course, Auntie. Hmm, how often? Well, maybe once a day if I remember. It's just Fancy, I have too many things to do. I have to take care of my toys. I have to play with my dolls. I mean, I'm swamped. I just don't have the time to brush my teeth, Auntie. And sometimes I get so tired at night, I just wanna go to bed and not brush my teeth. Auntie, how bad can it really be if we don't brush our teeth? I mean, not that bad, right? Well, Emma, I think to answer that question, we have to first ask ourselves, why do we need to brush our teeth in the first place? Hmm, yeah, Auntie, why do we need to brush our teeth? Well, inside our mouth, hiding in our teeth are millions of bacteria. What, Auntie, millions? Yes, millions. So brushing our teeth helps keep the bacteria in check. You see, bacteria in our mouth build up over time, causing a clear film on our teeth called plaque. In fact, if you take your tongue and rub it on your teeth, you may discover you have plaque right now. Can you try that? Yeah, let me try. Hmm, what am I feeling for, Auntie? Well, if your teeth do not feel smooth and feel a little rough or fuzzy, that can be a sign that there's plaque already building up. Oh no, Auntie, I think I might feel that. But don't worry, it's normal to have a small amount of plaque on our teeth. But what we don't want is for that to keep growing and growing and growing, forming a hard clump of bacteria called tartar, which is much harder to remove. This is what the dentist usually has to scrape off when we go in for our dental cleanings. So, Auntie, how does the plaque and bacteria cause cavities? Well, Emma, after we eat, bacteria in the plaque will start feasting on the leftover food particles in our mouth, and they especially love sugars. They take the food particles and break them down into acids, which can start injuring your teeth and your gums. When the acids build up over time, it can cause holes in your teeth called cavities. Oh no, Auntie, that's what I have. Yes, and when the bacteria and acid build up, it can also cause your gums to get irritated, causing something called gingivitis, which is when the gums turn red and can bleed or be sore. Yikes, Auntie. So, Auntie, you said earlier that bacteria like sugar? Yes. To be more precise, Emma, bacteria love sugar just as much as you do, Emma. So the more sugars we eat and drink, the more delicious food and drinks for the bacteria to feast upon, which means more acid breakdown, which means more cavities and more gingivitis. Oh no, Auntie, but I love chocolate. Okay, so what do we do to stop these mean old bacteria? Well, to keep the bacteria levels low, we have to brush away the plaque on our teeth. So if you brush your teeth about twice a day, we make sure we brush away all the trapped foods and sugars, making plaque harder to form. We also need to avoid too much sugary foods and drinks. If we eat and drink more and more sugar, we are giving the bacteria in our mouth food. The more food they have, the more acid is produced, which can cause 
cavities, Auntie. Yes, that's correct. All right, Auntie. I guess I can slow down on the sugar. Take that bacteria. We also need to floss our teeth at least once a day. Sometimes there are areas where the toothbrush just can't reach and floss can help get that food and sugar that's stuck and hidden away back there. Got it, Auntie. All right, trivia time. Emma, how many baby teeth do we have as children? Hmm, let me see, let me see, let me count my teeth here. One, two, um, hmm. I'm not sure, Auntie, I, I just, I'm not sure. 20, wow, 20? That's a lot of money I'll be getting from the tooth fairy, Auntie. <laughs> yes, Emma, and how many teeth do we get as an adult? Um, still 20, Auntie? Nope, 32. Our mouth gets bigger as an adult, making room for extra teeth. Whoa, that's crazy, Auntie. Do you know what the last four teeth that we get are called? Hmm, no, Auntie. What? They are called wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth, Auntie? So do I get smarter once they come in? <laughs> Not exactly. They are called wisdom teeth because when we get them, we are older and wiser, usually between the ages of 17 and 21. Wow, Auntie. I can't wait to get mine. All right, Emma, I have a fun song to teach us about the importance of brushing our teeth. Great, Auntie, let's hear it. I brushed my teeth this morning, so I'm definitely smiling bright today. Great job, Emma. All right, time to go outside to play. Yes! Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Brush, 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 patties twice a day. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.